Hristos vos creseis merdvik, smertius smert popra, Iisusim vorobik, givod darova. Hristos vos creseis merdvik, smertius smert popra, Suffering in the current outbreak of sickness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. The blessed repose for those who have fallen asleep because of this sickness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> for all those who are working for the means to halt the spread of this disease, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord our God, mighty beyond description, glorious above all understanding, merciful without limit, loving us all beyond expression. Look with compassion on us and on this holy church, O Master, and show us and those who pray with us the riches of your tender mercy.
Be gracious to us, O God, and bless us. Let your face shine upon us and have mercy on us. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us his Wisdom be attentive. In the churches, bless God. From Israel's wellspring, bless the Lord. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he conquered death, and to all within the graves he has granted life. Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Although we descended into the grave, O immortal one, you destroyed Hades' power. You arose as a victor of Christ God. You exclaimed to the murdering wind and rejoiced. You gave peace to your apostles and granted resurrection to the fallen. For holy our God, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. All you who have been baptized into Christ have been glorified. Attentive, peace be with all wisdom, be attentive. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Wisdom, 
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Let us be attentive. In my first account, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up to heaven, having first instructed the apostles he had chosen through the Holy Spirit. In the time after his suffering, he showed them in many convincing ways that he was alive, appearing to them over the course of forty days and speaking to them about the reign of God. On one occasion when he met with them, he told them not to leave Jerusalem. Wait, rather, for the fulfillment of my Father's promise, of which you have heard me speak. John baptized me with water, but within a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. While they were with him, they asked, Lord, are you going to restore the rule to Israel now? His answer was, the exact time it is not yours to know. The Father has reserved that to himself. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes down on you. Then you are to be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, yes, even to the ends of the earth. No sooner had he said this than he was lifted up before their eyes in a cloud which took him from their sight. Listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Let us be attentive. <clears throat> when a child will be slow, it will be a boy. A boy be slow. In the beginning it was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, all things were made through Him, and without Him was made nothing that has been made. What Tom Jivod be, Jivod be sweet Jalovicum, be sweet what Timmy Sidisia, it me a Yehone Obia. In him was life, and his life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness grasped it not. Bos Chalavik Poslan of Boha, Imya Yeho Yoan, Se Pitik was city tells to Das with the tells to Osviti, Dasi Vidu Imut Yamu. There was a man, a man sent from God, whose name was John. This man came as a witness to bear witness concerning the light, that I might believe through him. He was not himself the light, but was to bear witness to the light. It was a true light that enlightens everyone who comes into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world knew him not. He came into his own, and his own received him not. But to as many as received him, he gave the power of becoming the children of God, to those who believe in his name. 
i žene odkrovene o pokoty polský a o pokoty mužejský a no od Boha rodíš jasný a who were born not of blood and nor of the will of flesh nor of the will of man but of God. I slovo plod bez je vzali si a oni i vidíchom slavy a ho slavy a kvěděrného roca i sponi blahodáty i istiny. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we saw his glory, glory is of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and of truth. Jovan svide tel si o nem i voz zvala holja, sebi je vže rik, i že pomni hriadi predo mnojo bez, jako pervje mene bi. John bore witness concerning him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who is to come after me has been set above me, because he was before me. I osponenie jeho misi prijakom, i blahodat vos blahodat. And of his fullness we have all received grace for grace. Jako zakon mu se jedan bez, blahodat će istina, Isus Hristom bez. And the law was made given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. Christ is risen. Indeed, He is risen. And I wish you all a happy Easter. I heard a story about it happened in a little college, a California college town. An elderly woman was shopping and she crouched down to get a carton of eggs that was on a lower uh, shelf. She opened the carton to see if any of the eggs were broken. And as she did, did this, a bearded young student crossed alongside of her and said, well, what are we looking for? What are we looking for? That is a question. In the resurrection story, Mary Magdalene came to Christ's tomb. What was she looking for? What were the apostles Peter and John looking for when they came to the tomb? And some 2,000 Easter Sundays later, we gather here in Christ's name. What are we looking for? That is the question. On that first Easter Sunday morning, Mary Magdalene, Peter, and John were desperate people when they came to Christ's tomb. One week earlier on that first Palm Sunday, when Christ triumphantly paraded into Jerusalem, their spirits soared. Their hope in Christ's promise was never higher. But then quickly came Calvary, shattering their dreams, reducing their high expectations to zero. And they were made desperate. I came across a story, I don't know, maybe you've heard. It was about a, a, a young woman in New York who was in love. It was springtime. She was in love with a handsome young man whose career was rising. And one day he called to tell her that it was something special was going to happen. He would pick her up in his old jalopy and they would go to the country for a picnic. And this man seemed to be preoccupied. There were long silences. And then they headed back to New York and finally he started talking solemn of a great significant event that was about to occur. And he said Central Park would be the appropriate place for it to happen. And as they drove through the park on that beautiful spring day, the woman's expectations soared. Then he announced that the great moment was at hand. He slowed the car down and headed for a quiet place. This was it, he said. The moment had arrived. And he was sure that she could feel the same excitement as he did. So the car had, at that carefully timed junction, reached the 100,000 mile mark. And the figures on the speedometer were turning slowly as the car came to a halt. The man said as, it, as the numbers were changing, he said, everything is back to zero. And she said unto herself, yeah, everything is back to zero. My friends, you know, this happens to each one of us. That's life. A succession of high expectations and broken dreams. And when hope grows dim at a very deep level of our being, when everything is back to zero, we become desperate. And this happens more often than we may think. By our own nature, we are a desperate people. Each day of our lives, we see new incidents of death and destruction, 
violence and bigotry and suffering of all kinds. And they sometimes confront us directly. Each day of our lives with varying degrees of intensity, the question gnaws at us, why? Why does it have to, have, why does it have to be like this? We want everything better, than, we want something better out of life than this. And in our hearts, we are always searching, uh, desperately searching for that final conclusive answer to the question, why? And once again, we feel that everything's back to, one, to, back to zero. We cry out again in desperation. What are we looking for? Hopefully, that's why we're here, to discover what we are looking for. I'm sure that many of you older people remember Irma Bombeck. She, uh, she was a syndicated columnist. She wrote this, uh, she was author of, of some bestsellers. And she had a knack for taking a humorous look at real life. But one day she had a real bad day. And she was not in the mood for any small talk. But as still usually happens, her son came and he started telling her the last detail about the last movie that he had seen. And as he kept saying, you know, you know, you know. Irma felt herself being driven further and further up the wall. She said, my teeth were falling asleep. Then three telephone calls were equally monotonous. When she was, then she was going to the airport and the taxi driver had just to tell her all about his son in college. Finally, she got to the airport and she had 30 beautiful minutes before the plane took off. Time to be alone with her own thoughts, to open a book and keep her mind wander. But then an elderly woman next to her said, I'll bet it's cold in Chicago. And Irma said, probably. The older woman persisted. I haven't been to Chicago for years, and my son lives there. Irma said, that's nice. Her eyes intent on her book. And then the woman said again, my husband's body is on this airplane. We've been married for 53 years. I don't drive, you know. And when he died, a nun drove me from the hospital. The funeral director, <clears throat> Let me come to the airport with him. And in Irma, Irma's words, she said, I don't think I ever hated myself more at that moment. Another human being was, was screaming to be heard. And in desperation, she turned to a cold stranger who was more interested in a novel than a real life drama at her elbow. She said that, needed, that woman needed no advice. She didn't need any money, assistance, expertise, or even compassion. All she needed was someone to listen. She talked numbly and steadily until we boarded the plane, then found a seat in another section of the plane. And as I hung up my coat, Irma said I heard that her plaintive voice say to that her new seat companion, I'll bet it's cold in Chicago. And I prayed, please God, let that woman listen. Why did Mary Magdalene, Peter, and John run to the tomb on that first Easter Sunday? They were desperately looking for their Lord. Why have we come to church this morning? Hopefully we are desperately looking for our Lord. Uh, but the question remains, are we desperate enough to find him buried inside those other human beings who are screaming to be heard and aching to discover what they are looking for? Because they, like us, are searching for the Lord and they desperately need to discover Christ in them so that they may discover Christ in us. What are we looking for? We're looking for love, all of us. For God is love, and through Christ our Lord, we are fulfilled in love. So my friends, look, look for your Lord, but don't look for him into the grave. He's not there. The tomb is empty. Your Lord is risen, and by the resurrection power of God, he resides deeply within your soul. Find him there, and you will clearly see that he lives deep in the, within your neighbor's soul at well. Again, I wish you all a happy Easter. And in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen.
Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, Lord have mercy. O Lord, almighty God of our fathers, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, for our Most Reverend Metropolitan William, for those who have served in this Holy Church, for all our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Savior, bless us, you people, and increase the vocation to priesthood and religious life in the service of your holy church. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O oh Lord, lover of all people, protect and preserve in holiness those who have answered your call to the service of your holy church and dedicated themselves to your holy gospel. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy, for those who show us mercy, and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Son and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us mystically represent the cherubim and sing the throne. Oh, 
precious gift placed before us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord God Almighty, hello now, holy, and receive the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Accept also the prayer of us sinners. Bring us to your holy altar and enable us to offer you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the people's failings. Make us worthy to find favor in your sight that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you, and the good spirit of your grace may rest on us, on his gifts, your present, and on all your people. Grant us the mercy of your only begotten Son, in whom you are blessed, together you are all the good and life, creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Let us love one another, so that one mind we may profess. The Father and the Son, Christ is risen. And indeed, he is risen. In wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the only begotten, born of the Father before all ages, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, together with the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I profess one baptism for the remission of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Let us stand aright, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive to offer the holy and Afra in peace. Mercy, peace, a sacrifice of grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and Father and communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just. It is proper and just to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship in every place your dominion. For you are God ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, and comprehensible, ever existing yet ever the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of non existence into being, and again raised us up when we had fallen left nothing undone until you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank in your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all that we know, all that we do not know, for the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for the liturgy you are pleased to accept from our hands. You know to stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim, seraphim, six wings, many eyes throwing aloft on their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud and saying, the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are filled, filled with your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the Also cry out with these blessed powers and loving kind master and say, Holy are you and all holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. 
Holy are you not only magnificent is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan on our behalf. On the night he was betrayed, or rather, when he surrendered himself up for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy offering and immaculate hands, he gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Amen. Likewise, he took the chalice after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sin. Amen. Remembering, therefore, the same command, all that came to pass on our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, sitting at the right hand, and the second coming in glory, offering you your own from your own, Always and everywhere. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we pray to you, our God. Moreover, we offer this rich and bloody sacrifice. We implore, pray, and entreat you. Send down the Holy Spirit upon us, upon his gifts lying before us. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ, that was in his chalice, the precious blood of your Christ, changing them by the Holy Spirit, that for those who partake of them, they bring about a spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, confidence, you're not judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer this spiritual sacrifice to those who parted in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, the very just spirit brought to perfection in faith, especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. The angels exclaim to her, full of grace, rejoice, O pure virgin, and again I say, First, of our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, and most of the Metropolitan William, preserved in free holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. Remember, O Lord, this city in which we dwell, and every city and community, and the faithful living in them. Remember, O Lord, those who travel by sea and land, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and grant them salvation. Remember, O Lord, those who bring us and perform good deeds in your holy churches, and those who remember the poor, upon all of us send down your mercies. And grant every one voice and one heart, and may glorify and praise you, most honored magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and honor and forever. Amen. And may the mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gift offered and consecrated to the God who loves us all, may we see them on this holy, heavenly, <clears throat> mystical office in our own most spiritual fragrance, and send down upon us in return his divine grace, gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord <laughs> have mercy. Asking for unity in the faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. Your 
Christ who loves us all, we commit our whole life and hope, and we implore, pray, and entreat you. Make us worthy to partake with a clear conscience of your heavenly awesome mysteries from this sacred and spiritual table. May they bring about the remission of sins, the pardon of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence in our judgment or condemnation, and make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation, dear call your Father, God of heaven, and say, kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. To you, o Lord. We give you thanks, O invisible King, by your measure of power, your fashion, all things. The greatness of your mercy, but all things out of non-existence into being. Look down from heaven and mass upon those who bow their heads to you, for they do not bow to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master makes food for the good of all, the path that lies ahead. According to the need of each, say with those who sail, travel with those who travel, through those who are sick, or physician of souls and bodies. Through the grace, the mercy, and loving kindness of your only begotten Son, in whom you are blessed, to give you all the good life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Oh. Let us be attentive, holy gifts to holy people. What is holy? What is Christ holy? Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. and profess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Receive the body of Christ. Drink the source of
you haven't been here since the virus started, we're going back to the uh, traditional way of receiving communion. Now there's with the spoon and the, both species of wine, uh, bread and wine. Uh, now the way you can do it is uh, one of the uh, servers will give a spoon to the priest. He gives communion. He will then deposit that spoon into the chalice and take a new spoon for the next person so that one, no two people will have the same spoon. And by the way, if you're not of the Byzantine rite, the proper procedure to receive is open your mouth wide, tilt your head back slightly, keep your tongue inside of your mouth. If you're of the Roman rite, then I say the amen as you say in your rite. In our rite, you don't say anything. Approach with fear of God and with faith and love. Christ is risen. Christ is risen from Christ is risen, 
Christ is risen, Christ is risen from the dead. By his death he conquered death, and to those within the grave he gave eternal life. By his death he conquered death. Christ is risen, Christ is risen. Christos was Christ, Christos was Christ. Rados nevas, laia vlaie, pasca krasna, des vitaie. Jesus, 
the mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord have mercy. We thank you, a master benefactor of our souls who loves us all. This day made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. The prayers and intercession of the glorious day of talk us and of a Virgin Mary and of all your saints. Make straight our path, confirm us all in fear of you, guard our life and safeguard our steps. For you are our sanctification and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, blessing those who bless you and sanctifying those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our government, and to all your people. For all generous giving every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Christ is Parishioner Joe Kelly died yesterday. The funeral is going to be on Friday, 11 o'clock here in the church. So please remember him and the family in your, in your prayers. And that was Joe, Joe Kelly. I'd like to thank all of you for your kindness that extended to me during the season, the prayers, the cards, the gifts. All I can say is I thank you for the generosity of so many. And also thanks for those who sent cards to our shut-ins because I know they definitely uh, appreciated it. You know, you'll be coming up for Mirovania and the anointing of oil. And again, there'll be no bread because uh, thanks to our virus friend, but you will be anointing. And uh, of course, response now at this season, I will say, uh, Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Christos Voskades, Oistina Voskades. And if you don't know that, well, you're not gonna get any bread anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, an item I forgot to put in the bulletin for our church council. We're asked to help content co the collection tomorrow. It's Monday after the 9 a.m. liturgy to count that expected big collection. And now there'll be, following the liturgy, there'll be the blessing of the Easter food. And since uh, we didn't go outside, everything will be done right here. And again, one more time, I wish you all a very happy Easter. Glory to you, Christ our God, our hope, glory to you. Christ is risen from the dead, by death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, give a blessing. Christ is risen from the dead, by death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life. May, may have mercy on us, save us the prayers of his most pure mother. Our Holy Father John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. Amen. Grant the Lord, the servant, Father Athanasius, peace, health, and happiness for many years. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. <laughs> Lord, to your servants, the parishioners of St. Mary's, and everyone here, peace, health, and happiness. 
Christ is risen. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he conquered death, and to all and in the graves he has granted life. Grant the Lord to your servants all who are watching this on live stream. Peace out and long life for many years. Christos vos Christos vos at the presence of God, and let the righteous ones rejoice. The bird-bearing women arrive just before the dawn at the tomb of the giver of life, and found an angel seated on the stump who spoke these words to them. Why do you seek the living among the dead? Why do you mourn the incorruptible among those subject to decay? Go announce the good news to his disciples. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us exalt and rejoice in it. Past so delightful, past of the Lord is the past, most honored past now dawned on us, it is the past. Therefore, let us joyfully embrace one another. O Passover, save us from sorrow, for today, Christ has shone forth from the tomb as from a bridal chamber and filled the women with joy by saying, Announce the good news to my apostles. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
now and ever and forever. Amen. This, this is the resurrection day. Let us be enlightened by this feast, and let us embrace one another. Let us call brethren, even those who hate us, and in the resurrection, forgive everything and let us sing, Christ is risen from the dead, by death he conquered death, and to all For he is risen from the dead. Christ is risen, all triumphant. He is risen, he is risen. Christ is truly risen. Through many sufferings he conquered death, taking our guilt and our sins away, and to those entombed brought life. He has brought them life. He is risen, He is risen, Christ is truly risen. Through many sufferings He conquered death, taking our guilt and our sins away, and to those entombed brought life. He has brought them life. So let's know us ye my man. The sun is ya razones. Isus sacros lavlai me. On boy is metribus tres. Christos vos crece is metric. Vos crece, vos crece. Vos crece is met vic, smetius, smetius, smet pompra, smetius, smetius, smet pompra, Iisus cimbora vic, gilvat, gilvat darava. Vos crece, vos crece, vos crece is met vic, Smetius, smetius, smet pompra. Smetius, smetius, smet pompra. Iisus cimbora vic. Gilvat, gilvat arova. Miro nasis igeni, racom doro paidut. Miro nasi atirani, Lachucis abunesu, Christos vos crece is met vic. Vos crece, vos crece, vos crece is met vic. Smetius, smetius, smet popa, Smetius, smetius, smet popa, Iisus cimbora. Christ is risen, Christ is risen. Christ 
Christ is risen from the dead. By death he conquered death. By death he conquered death. And to all within the graves, and to all within the graves, he granted, he granted, he granted life. By death he conquered death. By death he conquered death. And to all within the graves, and to all Christ, you came down from heaven, giving life and salvation to the world. Bless this bread by the Holy Spirit, your blessing, so it may be to all eat of it for the salvation of soul, the health of body, and the protection against every illness and hostile attack. For you are a merciful and loving, gracious God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Lord Jesus Christ, our God, look down upon these meat products and bless them as you sanctify the ram which the faithful Abraham offered to you and the lamb which Abel presented to you as a holocaust. And as you also sanctify the fattened calf which you ordered to be slain for your prodigal son who returned to you as he was considered worthy to partake of your goodness. And we also enjoy these meats which you blessed and sanctified for the benefit of all of us. For you are the true nourishment and giver of all good things. And we give glory to you, the ideal, the eternal Father, and most holy grace and life, giving spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God, our Lord and Master, creator and maker of all things, bless this cheese and butter and everything with them, the eggs and all other food here present, and keep us in your goodness, so that as we partake of them, we may be filled with your generous gifts and indescribable goodness. We are the supreme ruler and yours of the king and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. These foods are blessed and sanctified to the sprinkling of this holy water and to the invocation of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. These foods are blessed to the sprinkling of this holy water and to the invocation of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. These foods are blessed through the sprinkling of this holy water and through the invocation of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Peace, foods are blessed for speaking of this holy life, invocation of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wisdom. Shine in splendor, O New Jerusalem, for the glory of the Lord is risen upon you, O Zion. Sing with joy and rejoice, and you, pure Mother of God, rejoice in the resurrection of your Son. Christ our God, by death, trampling death, to those in grace He granted life, may have mercy on us, the true prayers of the most supreme mother of all the saints, for He is gracious and He loves us all. Amen. Christ is risen. Indeed, Indeed He is risen. Blessing of the Lord be upon you to his grace and loving kindness, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. And of course, uh, you know, this, this tradition here, if you have, if you have any extra kobasi, I live next door. <laughs> Grant the Lord to you, sir, and solve your prayers and peace and health and happiness for many years. Christ is risen. Christ, Christ is risen from the Hey, but you can't go, really. <laughs> I think he's supposed to open.